You busy, Arthur? Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... Said it was really... Freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is for Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. What? Yeah, you all right there, boy? Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where... We should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Now, big place, right? your binoculars. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy. I think we need to draw them out somehow, and... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on. Let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe you want to pick this cowboy's mouth. Creepers, Ben. Don't score no to the Jimmy Clinic's head. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes. I was. Holly gag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam! 
You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it out of the way. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Stay low, Arthur.
I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has him? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well, you coming? All right, lead the way. So how'd you find him? He said he was going hunting. Never returned. I was able to track the tracers pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? I think it is, Arthur. There they are, on foot. From here. Hey, you idiots ever hear a Dutch's voice? You're gonna pay for this. You have no idea what hell is coming. Their friends showed up. <laughs> you fellas for this. Damn right you do. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. <sighs> What's next? Cheerful, sir. Well, then try smiling. Good morning. We are gonna be okay. No, sir. Arthur, would you tell him things are gonna be okay? When you say it, Dutch, we all believe it. <laughs> and that's Arthur Morgan speaking. The best man I know. And enough with the sir. This ain't the army. We win our fights. for one minute that you ever made it to Australia. Well, man, you'd be right. I never did. But I tried. 
I made it as far as Chicago. Chicago ain't nowhere near Australia. No, but it's on the way. I always wanted to see one of them kangaroos. Giant bucks and rats who keep their babies in their pockets. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What kind of lunatic thought that up? <laughs> That's an interesting way of seeing things. Maybe we'll head over there one of these days, huh? Yeah. Start a new life as kangaroo farmers. Well, there's a dream we ain't had yet. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fellow. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Boy. Hmm? Thank you. Save my life. Oh, yeah, of course. So, apparently, the horseless carriage is a reality. In Germany. I read about it in the newspaper. By next year, we'll all be driving. And flying, too, no doubt. See, I like a horse well enough to not want to give one up for a machine. Well, maybe the horse can ride in the carriage with you. <laughs> now, that's an idea. My God, what is he putting in this slop? He waits until the meat is crawling with lice, and then he cooks it. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you too. Mind your manners a little. Mr. Pearson, he takes good care of us. Good old Bill. Hello, Arthur. <laughs> 